What's going on, everybody? Thanks for joining me once again. This is another installment of Hoggy's Beer Reviews, and today I'm finally getting around to a beer I've been sitting on for about two months now, more or less. This is called Rugged Trail. It's a nut brown ale from the Trogues Brewery in Pennsylvania. Um, Rugged Trail from Trogues was sent to me by Chris, also known as Bitter Poet Madman, here on YouTube. Um, we did a beer trade a while back, and he sent me two beers from Trogues. This and the Nugget Nectar. Um, you know, Trogues is not distributed down here in Florida, so I've never had anything from this brewery. I'm really looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, you know, unfortunately, I've, I've been sitting on them for a while. I've been wanting to get to them and review them and, well, hell, just taste them, really. But with so many beers out there, something, all, something else always comes up. I've kept putting it off, but now the time has come to break into the Nut Brown Ale. So, you know, let's get right to it. Um, on here it says 4.4 uh, alcohol by volume, brewed and bottled by Trilch Brewing Company in Harrisburg, PA. Up top it just says bronze color with subtle chocolate notes. So, okay. That's cool. I like that. I like brown ales, especially the nuttier ones. So this should be good. Um, punching up the nut brown ale, uh, the Trilch's Rugged Trail Nut Brown Ale on Beer Advocate. Uh, it averages out, out of 433 reviews, to a B overall, which is pretty good. Um, it basically repeats everything else. Trogues Brewing Company, Pennsylvania. It's categorized as an English brown ale, which is good. I like English brown ales. And 4.4, 4.40 ABV, so that matches up. So yeah, it gets a pretty good rating. It's an English brown. I like English browns. I like nutty brown ales. And I'm dying to try something from a brewery that I've never had anything from before. So since it's an English brown ale, break out my English Nunic pint glass, and this is a stretch, but what the hell. I don't know if you can make that out, but that's a Trogues cap. Since I've never had a beer from them before, I want to keep that cap because it's a cool looking cap. And since it's a rugged trail, hiking, wilderness, you know, branches in your face, what might you take with you if you're on a rugged trail? But a machete. So, what better way to conserve my cap and do the little trick today? So, let's just... There we go. I love that because the cap comes off unscathed. And now we try ourselves an English brown ale from Pennsylvania. It's a bit smoky. Oh, and that's pouring a beautiful color. And I'm catching whiffs of this beer as I'm pouring. It smells really good. Roasted, malty notes. Hmm. Not a lot of head, and this beer has been out of the fridge for a few minutes. It's warmed up just a bit. Still didn't give too much head, but it is a dark... It's, I can see light through it, so it's not black. It is a very dark brown. The light looks red through the beer. You know, hints of red through the middle and around the edges. It's very dark, though. Oh, wow. And it smells... Hmm. Roasted malts, there are subtle hints of chocolate in there. Hints of coffee as well. And it's more of a sweet chocolate. It's not some beers give you a kind of a chocolatey taste and smell, but it's more like dark, bitter chocolate. Um, this is a bit sweeter. It's almost like a milk chocolate. It's subtle, but it's definitely there. I like that though. A bit buttery as well. Can't say I smell anything nutty, but I mean the smell just makes me want to take a take a big gulp out of it. Well, it's a shame there's not a lot of head there, but minor flaw. I'm not going to hate them for it just yet. So yeah, man, this smells good, and it's about time I dig in. So I'll do just that. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's good. For a beer this dark. The body's a bit on the light side. It's kind of a medium. It's not as rich and heavy as you may expect it to be. And you do get a bit of, I don't want to say carbonation. It's not, you know, Coca-Cola carbonation. But you do get a bit of fizziness towards the back end. So even though there's not a lot of head, it's still got some, some fizz in there, some carbonation in there from the yeast. So that's good. It adds depth to the body.
it's good, but I've got to admit, the flavors are a bit tame. It is a bit thin. It's kind of watery. It just kind of goes right down. There's not much to the body. There's not a lot of flavor and a lot of substance that kind of just kind of coats your tongue. It goes right down. It does. You do get the roasted malty notes. There is a hint of chocolate, not as much as there is in the nose, though. And it is slightly earthy in the finish. I mean, it tastes good. It's it's, it's a bit tame, though, I must admit. Um, I've had better brown ales. Um, I mean, this is, uh, it says on the Trove's website that this is their session beer, and at 4.4 with this light, drinkable body, all things considered, it's not bad. I mean, low ABV lighter body than you would expect with this color. It is very drinkable. There is flavor to this beer, but if you're looking for a rich, flavorful brown ale, this may not be the one you want. Mm. Hints of coffee as well, but even the bitterness on the finish is kind of tame. You know, the, the bitterness from the roasted malt, from the touch of hops, it just, it goes down and it doesn't leave much behind. Honestly, I expected more. I really did. It's not bad at all. It's just kind of bland. It's an okay brown ale. Um, yeah. Trogues makes a nice little brown ale. It's sessionable. You pick up a six pack. You know, if it's in your area, if it's inexpensive, you want to knock down three, four, five, six of these. They won't weigh on you too much. And the ABV won't kill you. But if you want one flavorful beer, negative. This is not it, guys. Um, I'll call this, I'll call this a glass half full, just because it does have the positive qualities of the Loy BV and the drinkability of it, but as far as, you know, full of flavor, no. This is not a rich, robust, tasty brown ale, this is a tame, watery, easy to drink, lawnmower brown ale, if there is such a thing. So I'll leave it at that. Trogues, Rugged Trail, Nut Brown Ale, not bad, but... Nowhere near great. Um, drinkable at best. So, again, if, if you like brown ales, you might want to check it out and see what you think of it. And, you know, if you like Trogues, I guess it's, it may be one of their better beers. I don't know what their lineup is like, but I don't think it's that great. And I'll leave it at that. Um, Trogues, I've got to try the other one. I'll be doing that one very soon as well. That's the Nugget Nectar. Hopefully that one will come out better than this one. This one was disappointing. Half full. And I'll ride out on that. Take care, guys. And cheers.